Thai greeting. The Thai greeting referred to as the way, Thai, pronounced, consists of a slight bow, with the palms pressed together in a prayer-like fashion. It has its origin in the Indian Anjali Madra, like the Indian Namaste and Burmese Mingal Arpar. The higher the hands are held in relation to the face and the lower the bow, the more respect or reverence the giver of the way is showing. The way is traditionally observed upon formally entering a house. After the visit is over, the visitor asks for permission to leave and repeats the salutation made upon entering. The way is also common as a way to express gratitude or to apologize. The word often spoken with the way as a greeting or farewell is Sawati, RTGS4, pronounced, sometimes romanized as Sawasti. This verbal greeting is usually followed by Ka when spoken by a female and by Krap when spoken by a male person, see note on Thai polite particles. The word Sawati was coined in the mid 1930s by Priya Pocket Silapazan of Chilalankorn University. Dot derived from the Sanskrit Svasht, meaning well being. It had previously been used in Thai only as a formulaic opening to inscriptions. The strongly nationalist government of Pleet Pibil Songram in the early 1940s promoted its use in the government bureaucracy as well as the wider populace as part of a wider set of cultural edicts to modernize Thailand. Wang remains to this day an extremely important part of social behavior among Thais, who are very sensitive to their self-perceived standing in society. It is also frequently used as an accompaniment to an apology, sometimes even serving as a get-out-of-jail-free card. Foreign tourists and other visitors unaccustomed to the intricacies of Thai language and culture should not weigh someone younger than them except in return for their away. However, one should always return away that is offered as a sign of respect. Corporate wise, such as those performed by convenience store cashiers, generally are reciprocated with a smile or a nod. Dot. If one receives away while carrying goods, or for any reason that makes returning it difficult, one should still show their respect by making a physical effort to return it as best as possible under the circumstances. Origin The way may have been developed from an ancient greeting, which is said to have shown that neither individual was carrying any weapons. There exists several versions of the greeting based on social class, gender, and age. The gesture may come from India via Buddhism, which sometimes involves prostration, or the clasping of palms together and bowing to the ground. The gesture first appears circa 4,000 years ago on the clay seals of the Indus Valley Civilization. Similar gestures in other countries. Pranama or Namaste, the part of ancient Indian culture has propagated to Southeast Asia, which was part of Indosphere of Greater India, through the spread of Hinduism and Buddhism from India. It has influenced the following nations. In Indonesia, way-like gestures are in use in various parts of the country, in the royal courts of Java it is called Semba, and also common in Lombok and Bali where Hinduism and Buddhism is or has been widely practiced. In Bali the greeting word spoken during the Sembai is Om Swasti Astu, which is equivalent to Sawati and Thai. Both originated from the Sanskrit Svasht. In Sanskrit Svasht means safe, happy, and prosperous, and Astu means hopefully. Thus Om Swasti Astu means, O oh God, I hope all goodness, safety, happiness, and prosperity, comes from all directions. In Laos, Cambodia, and Myanmar, similar greetings, called Nop, Sampia, Mingal Arpar, respectively, are also in use. In Malaysia and Brunei, it was historically used to convey thanks or salutations to a patron or higher personage, with the hands raised to a level in accordance with the rank or caste of the individual to whom it was directed. It is still used in the presence of Malaysian or Bruneian royalty. In South India and Sri Lanka, a similar gesture is used to greet. In Tamil for instance, the greeting expression Vanakam, meaning greeting, is derived from the root word vanag, meaning to bow or to greet. Dot in Sinhalese, Elm, meaning, may you live longer, is used. The gesture is commonly used to greet people in India. Although not used as a greeting gesture, similar gestures, the clasping of hands at the stomach, chest or chin, are known in the Philippines to convey heartfelt gratitude to a helper or benefactor, especially if that benefactor's social status is above that of the one who is assisted. This has its origins in the pre-Hispanic and pre-Islamic Hindu-Buddhist beliefs and customs of the area. It is still used as a salutation before and after the Pangli dance of the Tausug and Bayao peoples of the Sulu archipelago.